Hello, friends. This is weird. Where the heck am I? Uh, but I'm here for a, a vlog. If you haven't heard on my Instagram or Twitch or Twitter or ran when parked or anywhere that I've made another mistake. And I'm going to show you it and give you a little bit of a tour, as awkward as it is to do so in this very active shipping yard. <laughs> but I bought a Datsun 280Z the dream and it is down there it's right there look at it go well, it's not going anywhere it's parked but uh yeah i did it i finally did it ha <sighs> no no i'm done with cars forever so uh let's go down there i'll take you on a quick tour and i will do my best not to be super duper awkward around as i said this very active shipping yard this port as you will of shipping. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look. Well that there is a boat, but this here is the Datsun, the 280Z. It's a 1978, um, and as you can see, it's not the prettiest car on the planet, but it runs and it drives and it's mine, so that's what makes it most important. Um, yeah, it's got some, got some dents and rust, um, but overall, not bad at all. And uh, like I said, runs and drives. It is white, probably not my favorite color. It used to be silver though. The factory color was silver. I don't know why or when somebody repainted it white. It must have been a while ago because it is a old paint job. Um, I'm already going to be getting rid of those wheels. Those are 14 inch wheels and they're old and gross and the tires are pretty old and gross. So the first thing First things first, got new wheels, now I just gotta shop and get new tires installed. Um, if you've been following along, uh, I've done various little odds and ends to, uh, I am missing the Datsun, I have one, I bought one on eBay, but I've gotta affix a new Datsun logo to the hood. Um, some rust, some missing bumper pieces, um, but otherwise, like I said, runs and drives on the highway. Great. When I bought it, I drove it on the highway home for like 50 miles, uh, only to discover that there were no front brakes, no front brake pads, pretty much at all. <laughs> so I had to replace those. Um, but otherwise, it's a cool car. And finally, in spite of the market, I have one. A um, little weirdness. Somebody apparently didn't like a previous owner and took a razor blade to the side of the uh, the hatch there but there is there are mounting points for louvers so eventually I might be able to find louvers that fit those mounting points or just mount my own or say never mind to the louvers I would like to get a spoiler I would like to replace the front uh, valance which is all dented up as uh, I don't know if you saw um, let's take a look. Yeah, it's, it's not great, but there's kind of pieces, nothing too aggressive. I don't want any ground effects or anything, but something to replace that they make. Um, replaced, you know, things like the fuel filter and, and various bits and bobs. Uh, let's take a quick look inside. Ooh, one of the biggest projects I had was this door panel was rubbing up against the fender here and I had to take apart and remove the whole fender beat out the dent that's there and then adjust the door like back half a centimeter and now it opens without any sort of interference hopefully I can get an interior here and uh, show you what's around here no carpet on the passenger side uh, there is a very, very tiny pinhole right there that just seems like something punched through there, like a floor jack or something. That'll be easy to fix. Um, missing a radio. I'm just going to get a cheap Bluetooth radio to put in there. I need speakers. Uh, the dash, of course, is cracked. But the clock works. Everybody always says, does the clock work when they're shopping for these? I always see that on Bring a Trailer and stuff. And it never does. But this clock works, and it keeps time, even when the battery's disconnected. 
Um, steering wheel, obviously. <laughs> Gotta have one of those. Uh, I did replace the uh, ignition key because the one that was in there didn't hold the key in while you were driving. <laughs> um, so I am now having to use three keys, one for the ignition, one for the driver's and rear hatch, and then a separate one for the passenger door. The previous owner was having problems with keys. Um, and then in back, it's missing all of the carpet. I mean, I, ha I don't have the carpet, but I have all these panels behind here um, that are missing. I'll have to replace the speakers. And I have the whole top area where there is a dome light and stuff. Um, previous owner included all that. Also has a passenger visor. Although driving here, I've discovered that it doesn't like to stay up when you hit a bump. Um, which is probably why they had Velcro here at some point. So I might have to figure something out with that again. Hello, GoPro. Um, but yeah, everything is cool. I did replace, uh, I found this piece from the same person who was selling the front emblem uh, because the one that was in here was all cracked and practically gone. Um, but also, the reading light. The reading light works now because that came with that new piece. <laughs> um, the old reading light didn't work. It's totally stupid and unnecessary and nobody cares, but I do because I'm weird like that. Um, so yeah, not much else. Not much else at all. Uh, I replaced the shift uh, bushings because this was all jibbly jobbly. I did record a bunch of videos of this uh, with Senor GoPro, but he didn't record any audio, so those are all trashed. Um, do need to uh, find a new way to attach the armrest. I might just screw it in place because uh, it's it obviously slides all over the place. I might just bolt it in place. I don't necessarily need a, a storage area under here. Or I might just get some, like, I don't know, door hinges or something? That might even work. Who knows? <laughs> Everybody's yelling and screaming in woe and anguish who want to be restored, who want this to be restored to pristine condition, factory condition. That ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen, I tell you what. Um, but yeah, there we have it. Uh, I have a car, and it's a Datsun, and it's a 280Z, and so far, so good. So far, so good. I still have the Corolla. I'll eventually be selling that. Where is the, there it is. I'll eventually be selling that to make room in the garage, um, and uh, hopefully we'll be having more adventures uh, with this, so thank you for tuning in and following along. I'll do my best to keep everybody informed as to the progress on the Datsun and even the Corolla. It's kind of unfortunate. There are a few things I wanted to do with the Corolla um, that I still might do, but uh, kind of uh, onward and upward to the next, next big things, I suppose. Um, it's big enough. I fit. I'm six foot two, and I fit. I have some headroom. Uh, if I wanted to go autocrossing or something like that, I don't think there'd be room for a helmet. Uh, but for a cruiser, uh, a cool car, for a cool dude, uh, who's that? It ain't me. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I got going for me. Okay, bye. Shippy McShippingtons.